Thanks for logging on to WCBI.com. I'm meteorologist Jacob Dickey. Today I'm expecting a mostly sunny to partly cloudy sky with temperatures soaring back into the low 90s by the lunch hour. Mid to upper 90s is where we end up today with north winds generally between 2 and 5 miles an hour, maybe a little higher at times. There will be the chance for a few isolated showers out there. We'll call the day mostly sunny to partly cloudy. If you can get a little rain, you'll be lucky. I think the best odds seem to be along the Interstate 20 and I-20-59 corridors between Jackson and Tuscaloosa. There will be a few pop-up showers, though, across the region into the afternoon and evening hours, even into tonight. I can't rule out an isolated shower or two. I think the rain will will dissipate and fizzle out then. By midnight, we'll be back to a mostly clear sky on Friday morning. Before then, though, boy, do we heat up. 97 the high again in New Albany and in Tupelo. 95 in Boonville. Bruce at 96. Uh, a little warmer to the south there. I've got 97 in Starkville and in Columbus. 99 in West Point. Macon up to the big 100 yet again today. And in West Alabama, we'll get to 98 in Soldier and in Vernon. 99 in Aliceville for our Thursday afternoon highs. The good news is I think today is going to be the last day that I have to show a map like this. Heat index values between 100 and 105 out there. That'll be the maximum uh, that we could see. There's cold front coming in, and that cold front here comes in today, and by tomorrow it will drop our temperatures a little bit, a little cooler here, and a little drier into the weekend. Uh, you'll notice it more in the morning hours as our dew points take a tumble, uh, but the temperatures will take a tumble then really with our second cold front coming on in. Cold front number two arrives Sunday night into Monday. That's going to bring some scattered storms with it. I'm looking forward to that. First real chance of rain we've had in some time. And then as that pushes through on the backside, some pleasant fall weather is coming. Real fall weather. Actually getting some here for a change. Notice what it does to the temperature trends. Highs are in the upper 90s today. Low 90s and upper 80s into the weekend. By Monday, when cold front number two pushes through, we've got 70s on the board. Boy, is that going to feel nice compared to all of the heat that we've been experiencing here. Let's take a look at Futurecast and show you the timing of these. Uh, Futurecast says this evening into tonight, that first front pushes on through. Uh, by the time we wake up in the morning tomorrow, it'll be clear through. I think we're trending dry on Friday. Can't rule out a few isolated showers on Saturday into Sunday as that next front approaches. I think the best chance, though, will be Sunday night into Monday for more widespread rain across the region. And we could see some good amounts, too. Some spots could see a half inch, other spots seeing a little less. Most of that will come, though, on the second cold front. Only a few isolated showers on this first one. Let's quick check in the tropics here. We're still in October and uh, still in tropical season now, so we're keeping our eyes on things. There's just one disturbance that we're watching. No named storms out there right now. Uh, and that's a good thing here. The one disturbance we do have to watch, though, is in the Gulf of Mexico. It is heading towards the, that way and has low odds of formation, but it's something worth monitoring here. Uh, the Gulf is usually the most active in the month of October. In fact, this little statistic, Florida sees 60% of all their landfalling hurricanes during the month of October. So we can't rule out storms yet. Uh, we're not quite out of the woods, but we're getting closer uh, day by day moving forward. Here's how things look like for us over the next seven days. A few showers possible today, maybe a shower on Saturday. Best odds seem to be Sunday night into Monday. And look at the back side of that cold front number two coming through on Monday. Lots of sunshine, highs in the upper 70s and low 80s. Mother Nature is finally giving us what we've all been waiting for.